Well, if we look at disease as a whole, it's, uh, it's very, very simple. Because if we look at, for example, animals, they have a sense of knowing when they're sick. And every animal in nature, when it's sick, it doesn't go to, to, to any other pharmacy. It goes to nature's pharmacy. So even animals that do not eat plant or that do not, do not eat herbs or whatever, you find them eating these things because they know the only remedy is nature. So when it comes to the human, disease is actually very, very, com uh, it's very, very simple. But because man is a very, very complex being, he likes complication, you know. So that's why I decided to come up with all these different remedies. But at the core of every single disease is normally what we call inflammation and it's mucus. And if we look at disease and bacteria, they don't live in an oxygen environment. You know, they live in environment that are acidic. You know, every disease and bacteria lives in a mucus environment. If you look at mosquitoes or whatever, they don't like the clean waters. They like the dirty water. If you look at some certain, you know, insects and bacteria that are of very, very low pH or whatever, they're always seeking for very, very dark and you know, uh, like sewage area. So we must pay close attention to that. And if we understand that, it's the same thing. So if we have a lot of mucus concentrated, maybe in, in a woman's breast or whatever, we'll call it maybe breast cancer. If we have mucus concentrated in the joints or whatever, we'll be like, oh, they have arthritis. If we have mucus concentrated in the testicular area for men or whatever, we'll say, oh, they have testicular cancer. So it depends on where the mucus is concentrated. It's really no not rocket science. That's why we don't see animals wearing glasses. We don't see animals, you know, getting sick the way man, you know, is getting sick. It's because man has derailed away from his creator or whatever. So he's happened he's having to suffer. We still have cultures, like even the indigenous cultures, you know, that are that live in Africa, in the jungles and the Amazon. Some of them there are no hospitals. They've never ever seen a doctor. How are they able to heal themselves? Because they had a sixth sense of really understanding disease or whatever they knew. Most disease was just one cause. It was inflammation. So despite all that list or whatever, 99% of all of this is all mucus and inflammation. Some of Dr. Kang's formulas are listed here. Grandpa's limitless remedies so relaxation and rest also factors into this how yes well relaxation and rest is very, very important and that's why we we sleep you know that's why it's very important that because just like the heart when it's constantly constantly pumping you know, as you're walking you're doing all the physical activity all your running the heart is pumping very, very fast so it's very important that every single day, you know, we give it a rest, either by having a good night's sleep or by relaxing. Because we're not human uh, machines, we're human beings. And the term human beings, it simply means we're actually designed to just be. It doesn't mean you sit and be lazy, it simply means you try to do, but try to also keep a balance in this life. Because, you know, as human beings, we're beings of balance. Thank you. 